Hey there, Cavaliers. Welcome once again to another edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host, Gene Quintero. Joining me today is the head coach for the men's basketball team and JCCC Athletic Hall of Famer, Coach Mike Jeffers. Coach, thank you for joining me today. Glad to be here, Gene. Now, Coach, the regular season ended yesterday against Brown Mackey College, but mm -hmm. you're in the playoffs, which is amazing. What are your thoughts on the season in general? Uh, first impression is long. It's been, a, it's been a long year when you start in September with individual workouts, um, practices even starting in late September this year and early scrimmages in October. You know, we get to this point in the season, we've probably played almost 40 basketball games. And season, you know, we're in postseason play now mm -hmm. on Saturday with KCK. So um, it's been a long year. We hope it can even be a longer one, you know, if we can get down to nationals and, you know, that could be another two, three weeks. Okay. So. Yeah, hopefully we make it that far. That'd be, that'd be terrific for the school. Now, the team this year, there were a lot of new freshmen and there were only three returning sophomores. Right. What are the challenges of having a team with so many players that are inexperienced at the college level? Yeah. Well, even with Preston Oaks, he was a transfer from Central Missouri. This was actually his first year playing college basketball. He hadn't played a whole lot upon transferring. Mm -hmm. So um, even though we had a lot of freshmen, he was like a freshman mm -hmm. also. The biggest thing when you have so many new players, especially freshmen at the collegiate level, is that there is helping them identify their strengths and weaknesses as a player. Uh, some of the things they did as a high school player, a lot of times at the college level, is not a strength anymore. Uh, and then identifying strengths and weaknesses of their game, and then also getting them to buy into what their role is going to be on this team. Now think back to last September, you know, when the season was getting underway. What are the goals that the team set for themselves besides going to the playoffs and mm -hmm. winning the tournament for the season? Right. Um, our main goal every year is just get to the national tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been fortunate that we, we had a stretch there of 13 straight years where we yeah. played in the region finals. Mm -hmm. And uh, we missed the region finals last year for the first time in basically 15 years. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, the goal is to get to the region finals and, and have a shot to get to nationals every year. Now, a lot, of team of the, a lot of the team this year was out for many different reasons, mm -hmm. but the team still managed to win. How right. did the team rally around that and still come up victorious? Well, when we put our team together, mm -hmm. and this is every college basketball or every college team, uh, we look at a player two, uh, two, two ways. Mm -hmm. One is you either have character or you are a character. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are characters don't make it through the season. They eliminate themselves. Okay. And when you're 18, 19, 20 years old, sports, in a way is some character building, but we have a saying that adversity does not build character, it reveals it. Mm -hmm. And this team with seven guys playing the whole second semester has a lot of character. Oh, that was a very impressive run for those seven guys, unbelievable. Now, do you think the team learns more about the game and about themselves as a player from when they win or from when they lose? Uh, playing the game of basketball is really easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. You guard the ball and you share the ball. Yeah. You've got to pass, shoot, and dribble. Some players do it a little bit better than other players. Um, but winning at the collegiate level is hard. Mm -hmm. Playing the game's not hard, but winning's very hard. Okay. Now, as a coach, do you prefer high-scoring offenses on the court or a dominating defense? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what you've got to do every year, and at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. we were a, a, a fast-paced offense. Mm -hmm. You know, got after people defensively in the full court. We played very fast. But when we, you know, you lose seven, eight guys for a lot of different reasons, and you only have seven players left, well, now you've got to make sure the tempo that you play is the, sa is the same. You've got to be fast on offense and fast on defense. This semester with seven guys, we've had to be slow on offense and slow on defense. Okay. You can't go out there and ask your team to press for 40 minutes and then just pity right. pat the ball and mm -hmm. 20 passes and try to play real, real slow. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've had to match up our offense and defensive philosophy a little bit different this second semester. All right. Now, in your time here as coach, you led the team to two national championships. What qualities does the team have to have in order to take home the big trophy? Really good players. Really good players, yeah. <laughs> a lot of talent. Okay. Uh, talent and chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, I found out a long time ago, I've been coaching 36 years. Yeah. Found out a long time ago that the better the players are in a particular year, that's, I'm, I'm a really good coach those years. Okay. So, you know, talent and chemistry is, is probably the two biggest indicators in a given year to how far your team can go. Now, in your 36 years, your success as a coach has definitely shown on the court. What advice would you give to aspiring coaches? Well, for me, because uh, I knew going into, I was going to go into coaching at an early age, mm -hmm. uh, 
for me, it was finding a, a great wife. Yeah. And that's what I was able to do. And okay. I, we've been married 36 years. I've been coaching 36 years. Uh -huh. So, you know, make sure if you're in the coaching profession, I don't mm -hmm. care if it's high school, college, pros, your, your, your spouse better be pretty pretty great and mine is. All right, well, so. great advice, Coach, and thank you very much okay, for joining Gene. me today. All right. And that's all for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host, Gene Cantero. We'll see you next time, Cavs.